Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to recover some disk space that is being used by Wondershare Filmora. A couple of days ago I was looking at my hard drive and I noticed that it was getting low on disk space. So I went through and found out that Wondershare Filmora was using about 48 gigs of cache data. So I'm just going to show you where that is located and how you can recover some of the disk space from Wondershare Filmora. So let's get started. With this, you gotta open up Windows Explorer. As you can see, I've got 44 or 43.4 gigabyte of free space on my C drive. This this drive is about 500 gigs. So I just wanted to recover some disk space. And I found that if you go to Documents, Wondershare, Wondershare Filmora, and then if you go to the render folder, there's a dot render cache. So it looks like there's a lot of cache files here. I'll just show you an example. That's not a good example. Just here. There's all these 10 meg files and obviously it just um, adds up a lot. So what you can do is just uh, delete all those files. But let me show you how much space is being used just by this render cache folder. That's 48.3 gigs of just cache files that is being used. So what you can do is if you're still thinking of using some of the projects that you've recently created just look at the date and see maybe i'm going to delete these files and folders so anything before the 12th i'm going to get rid of so i've got some folders dated back from last year so delete these So hopefully I'll regain about 40, 40 gigs of this space that was just being used by, you know, cache files that I wasn't going to reuse. There you go. So let's see how big the render cache folder is now. So that's, yep. So reduced to by about 40, 45 gigs. Let's see how much space now I have on my C drive. I've got 88 gigs now free. So that's one way to recover more disk space. If you have the option that I'm going to show you is how to remove that render folder and files using Wondershare Filmora. So if you click on file, then go to preferences and then click on the performance tab. You see there's a section called preview render. And this is the same folder here that I showed you previously where all the render files cache were located. So by default, I don't believe this is selected automatically delete render files when the project is closed. So you may want to select that so that when the project is closed, it would automatically delete all those render cache files. You also have the button here to tell it to remove all the render files. So if you click on that, yes. Also in the proxy, same thing, automatically delete proxies when a project is closed was not selected. So you can select that and press the clean button and remove all the proxy files and then make sure to hit OK to save the settings. And that's the two options that allows you to recover some disk space. I hope this video helped. If it did, give it a like and subscribe to the channel.